Okay everyone, so in this video I'm gonna teach you how to use T-Rex to get 42 MHz per second using your RTX 3060 Ti with this LHR blocker. So let's do this. Okay, so the card I'm using is Gigabyte uh, GeForce RTX 3060 Ti and this one is Eagle OC8G and also we can see that this one is LHR. All right, so let's go and use uh, T-Rex to get 44, 45 megahertz per second when mining with Etash. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is just to install T-Rex. If you are a member in our Discord server, you can just go to uh, overclocking LHR cards and go to 3060 Ti LHR, all right? And right here we see under overclocking Windows 10, uh, this one uh, T-Rex, let's click on this link. If you're not a member, you find a link in the description to join, all right? So just click on this link. And if you are not a member, you can just open up uh, Google, search for GitHub T-Rex. And go to this one, releases uh, T-Rex minor. And the one we are looking for is uh, 0 0.22.1, but also later releases. So we want to go to uh, this one, uh, win.zip. Just click on this one to download it. And we're going to go and just open this uh, file. I'm going to show in folder. So this one is a zip file. We're going to right click. I'm using 7-zip to unpack the zip file. If you don't have an unpacker, you can just Google 7-zip and install this one. After that, just go to extract to T-Rex, like that. So now we can go and add this to our desktop. Let's drag it to the desktop, like so. We can open it and just choose the pool you want to have. I'm using Ethermine, so I'm just going to go and start this one, ETH, Ethermine. So what we want to look for is just the location of our 3060 Ti. Alright, so you can see that uh, my 3060 Ti is at first GPU. So just to remember your location of your 3060 Ti. So now we can go and just exit the miner. And if you don't have MSI Afterburner, uh, you find a link right here in the Discord server. Or just do a Google search uh, MSI Afterburner and this will take you to this page and just click on download Afterburner and install it. Okay, so we're gonna go and open up MSI Afterburner, just click on this uh, icon MSI Afterburner. Okay, so after that just go and click on this uh, arrow to locate your 3060 Ti right here in the list. So in my case it's this one, close the list with the arrow and Make sure to have the correct uh, GPU right here. So in my case it's NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti. Okay, so first uh, we're just gonna go and add the uh, overclocking and undervolting settings. Uh, we're gonna go to the Discord uh, server. We're gonna check for the values right here. So the core clock is minus 500. We have memory clock 1250. Fan speed zero or add your fixed amount uh, depending on how hot your card gets. We want to have it like 65 or below. We're gonna use power limit 60%. Alright. I'm just gonna go to MSI Afterburner and add these values. Okay, so core clock minus 500. Memory clock 1250. Uh, power limit 60% and we have a uh, fan speed zero or uncheck this one to add your fixed amount i'm just gonna add auto for now and after that we're gonna click on this check mark so this will apply our overclocking and undervolting settings for this gpu and also you can click on this uh, windows icon to get your uh, settings saved if you want to restart your computer okay so with the settings in place uh, we are just gonna go and edit uh, this uh, file. In my case, it's Ethermine. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna click on Edit. 
So now we need to change the uh, settings right here. Uh, we're gonna go and uh, change the rig name. So in my case, it's Mars, like so. We're gonna go and change the wallet address. I'm using Binance. Uh, I will leave a link in the description uh, if you want to create a Binance uh, wallet for Ethereum or other cryptocurrencies. Uh, this will give you a 5% kickback commission. Also disclaimer, I am affiliated with uh, Binance. That means I will get a small commission if you sign up through my link. Okay, so the wallet in place, the name in place. Now we want to change the server. So to do this, we're just going to go and open up Ethermine in my case. If you use another pool, just open up that pool and find the correct address. I'm just going to go to uh, start mining. Uh, we have Asia, Europe, US East and US West. Okay, so depending on where you are in the world, choose the one that are the closest to you. In my case, it's Europe. So I'm going to copy this uh, server address and I'm going to remember this one 4444. Four, four, four. All right. But in my case, it's already in here. So we're going to just change this to your own server. And just change the number right here okay and now we're gonna go to uh, the t-rex uh, page we're gonna click on this link and here we have the lhr guide okay so we need to set this lhr uh, tune uh, parameter to your uh, file right here so to do this we are just gonna copy this gonna go back to the file and at the end of this file I'm gonna paste this okay dash dash LHR dash tune and let's go back to the website and we have uh, values we need to add from 0 to 8 so in my case I will start at 8 and T-Rex will decide if 8 is stable for you or 7, 6, 5. So T-Rex will start with 8 and see if it's stable. If not, it will downgrade to 7 and so on. If it's not stable at 7, it will go to 6. And we also need to specify uh, which GPU is a uh, uh, LHR card. So in my case, uh, I have the first card as a uh, LHR card. So in my case, I'm just gonna add 8 comma zero comma zero comma zero comma zero because I have five cards so to do this just go to your file we're gonna add space so we're gonna add eight comma zero comma zero comma zero comma zero because I have five cards and the first card is my 3060 Ti LHR so that's it we're gonna X this one we're gonna save it and also one thing it's good to overclock uh, your GPU before you start a T-Rex miner all right otherwise uh, you may get some problem but that's why I overclocked and undervolt the GPU before we're gonna start the T-Rex miner okay so all we have to do now is just to start the T-Rex miner and we're gonna see what happens all right, so my stayed at the uh, LHR4 and this is my stable level, okay? So uh, I get 42, 43 megahertz per second and I'm using a power consumption of 119 watts. The temperature is 60 Celsius. We have fan speed 95. You can fix this if you want to 80% if you have the same. We have a performance uh, efficiency of uh, 362. Okay, so now when I know my LHR level, which is four, you can just go into your document. Okay, so to do this, just go to your uh, file. In my case, it's Ethermine file in our T-Rex folder. Click on edit. And I'm just going to go and change 8 to 4. By doing this we will start at 4 every time we start our mining uh, T-Rex software. 
And after that, just go and click on X, click on save, like that. Okay, everyone, so uh, comment below uh, your own results for this video and also your stable version. Is it four, five, six? And if you want to join our Discord server, you can do that. You find the link in the description. Here we can help each other with uh, mining problems and things like that. All about mining. Join us today. We love to have you. We are growing each day. So I hope you have a good hash rate. Have an awesome day. Take care and bye.